So according to an article published in the Journal of Pediatrics, as well as an article that I found on NBC News, as well as the CDC, autism is on the rise. So I'm gonna be reading some statistics that I discovered so that I won't misquote anything that I found. So it says that autism rates have actually tripled from the year 2000 to 2016. Back in the year 2000, one in every 150 children were diagnosed with autism. And then a few years later, it went down and then it was one in every 54 children. And now currently, stats show that about one in every 44 children have been identified as having autism. So what the heck is going on? Why is these rates of autism skyrocketing like it is? In this video, we are going to be talking about some speculations as to why this is occurring. So the first speculation as to why autism is on the rise and why these rates are increasing is because doctors are now better able to diagnose autism. So studies have shown that doctors are now better able to diagnose autism, they have a better understanding of it and a better awareness of it. So therefore, they're better able to diagnose it, which is why some of the numbers have been rising. And what's interesting is that there was a study done that showed that black children and Hispanic children actually used to have lower rates of autism than white children. Actually, black children used to be diagnosed about 30% less than white children. But now it's being found that that gap is narrowing. And so now there's an even higher playing field where children of all races are being found to have autism. So that could also contribute to that higher rate. And in addition to that, doctors are now able to diagnose children who have autism in much milder forms. So it used to be the case where only children that had very, very severe, like obvious in your face signs were diagnosed with autism. But now children who may have social engagement or children who may need less support or may be considered higher functioning are still being classified as having autism. So all of those reasons as far as doctors being able to better diagnose, the racial gap narrowing and doctors being able to identify milder forms of autism may contribute to this rising rate. So the second reason as to why it's being speculated that autism is on the rise is due to genetics. In fact, it has been found that about 83% of the risk of having autism actually comes from genetic factors. So between two to 3,000 genes have been found to be contributors to autism, with 100 of those genes have been found to consistently have something to do with autism. So if one parent has a trait or both parents have a trait in their genetic makeup, then that could lead to autism. Also, it has been discovered that older parents have higher risk of having children that have autism. And so that kind of makes sense because if we look at what's going on in society today, many individuals are waiting a little bit longer to get married and longer to have children. And so that also increases the risk of having children that have autism. So genetics is definitely the second speculation as to why the rates are going up. The third reason as to why autism rates are going up is due to environmental factors. Now I was doing a lot of research on this particular speculation and honestly there wasn't much out there. A lot of the articles that I came across it just says environmental factors but it's not saying exactly which environmental factors could be contributing and playing a role. So this is something that is still being researched. But what they are saying is that some of these environmental factors may be causing some type of genetic mutation or change in genes, which could lead to autism. So once again, it sounds like that environmental piece and that genetic piece are kind of those two main components that is contributing to that higher risk of having autism. They are also saying that another speculation as to why autism rates are increasing is due to things that are going on with deficiencies in the body or toxic chemicals in the body 
or the body being exposed to different pesticides. In fact, they're saying that vitamin D deficiencies may be linked to the high rates of autism. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but it was found that vitamin D deficiencies was also found to be linked to COVID a few years back. So all in all, please take your vitamin D. So it honestly, even though this has not been found to be like solid evidence, it would not surprise me if a deficiency in vitamin D was linked to autism. Also, toxic chemicals, gut inflammation, and even viral infections have all said to possibly be linked to autism. But this is a gray area. This is kind of new research. They're still looking into these particular areas as far as the toxic chemicals and gut inflammation and vitamin D and viral infections. But all of those things are what's going on with our body. So it's super important that we take care of ourselves and try to get all of our nutrients in and get some exercise in, get some sun in our lives, get rest, because not just to prevent autism, but just so we can live as healthy as we can. So guys, I wanna hear from you. What do you all think is causing the rise of autism? Do you agree with the things that I shared today? Do you think it's because doctors are just more aware now? Do you think it's linked to more genetics? Do you think it's linked to environment? Do you think it's linked to just things that are lacking and deficient in our bodies? What are you guys thinking? Well, I would love to have a conversation and just see what the thoughts are about this topic. All right, guys, take care and to the next one. Bye.